हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डिस्कशन ऑफ बेसिक पेपर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स क्लास टेंथ 2020 एज यू नो सीबीएसई ब्रॉड फ्यू एक्सटेंसिव चेंजेस इन मैथमेटिक्स पेपर ऑफ क्लास टेंथ दे इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू लेवल्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स पेपर फर्स्ट वन इज बेसिक एंड द अदर वन इज स्टैंडर्ड पेपर द डिफिकल्टी लेवल ऑफ बेसिक पेपर इज लेसर दैन दैट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड पेपर और दूसरा जो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चेंज है वो क्वेश्चन पेपर में हुआ पिछले साल नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस कम थे लेकिन उनमें लॉन्ग आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चंस ज्यादा थे लेकिन इस बार नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ज्यादा कर दिए गए हैं उनमें लॉन्ग आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चंस कम हुए हैं साथ ही साथ 20 क्वेश्चन वन मार्क के दिए गए हैं उनमें से दस क्वेश्चन ऑब्जेक्टिव थे सो आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू नो दिस न्यू पैटर्न ऑफ basic paper and standard paper made by cbse this year so let's begin our discussion we are going to solve basic paper of mathematics so let's start with question number 1 this question states hcf of two numbers 144 and 198 is this question is from very first chapter that is real number and the topic is euclid's division algorithm let's solve this question using euclid's division algorithm first we have to choose the greatest number that is 198 so we are assuming 198 as dividend and 144 as divisor and when we divide 198 by 144 we are getting quotient 1 and remainder 54 so here remainder is not zero that means we have to proceed for the next step of this euclid's division algorithm and then we can write 144 which is considered as dividend for the next step and the remainder of the previous step is to be considered as divisor for the next step so here we are writing 54 and when 144 is divided by 54 we are getting quotient 2 and remainder 36 again we are not getting remainder 0 that means we have to proceed for the third step and then we can write 54 is equal to 36 multiplied by 1 plus 18 again remainder is not equal to 0 that means we have to proceed for the next step 36 is equal to 18 multiplied by 2 plus 0 so in this step we are observing remainder is 0 so we can conclude that the divisor of this last step will be the hcf of the given two numbers so with the help of euclid's division algorithm you can say option number b is the correct choice for this question and the answer is option number b so if you have marked this option number b to aap nishchit taur pe ek number pa jaoge chalte hain agle question ki taraf that is question number 2 this question states the median and mode respectively of a frequency distribution are 26 and 29 then its mean is this question is from chapter statistics and the topic is empirical formula let's solve this using empirical formula we can write mean is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 3 times median minus mode median 26 and mode is 29 and when we simplify this we are getting 24.5 that is the value of the mean for this given data set and the option b is the correct choice for this question so the answer is option number b aur agar aapne mean 24.5 pe tick kiya hai to fir se aap ek number pane ja rahe ho is question ke liye so i hope it is clear to everyone now let's proceed to the next question this question states in figure number 1 on a circle of radius 7 cm tangent pt is drawn from a point p such that pt is equal to 24 cm if o is the center of the circle then the length of pr is so here we have to find the length of line segment pr and pt is a tangent drawn from an external point to this given circle at point t friends this question is from chapter circle and based on a theorem which states the tangent is always perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact using this we can conclude that ot which is one of the radii of the circle is perpendicular to this tangent pt now 
After writing this, we can apply the concept of Pythagoras theorem in right triangle PTO and then we can write PO square. The square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides that is 24 square plus 7 square. When we simplify this, we are getting the value of PO is equal to 25 centimeter. That means the distance of this external point from the center of circle is 25. But what we have to determine in this question? The length of line segment PR. That means PR, this is equal to PO plus OR. PR is 25 centimeter. OR is again one of the radii of this circle, which is of length 7 centimeter. So the length of this line segment PR is 25 plus 7, that is 32. And out of the given four options, we can see that it is given in option number C. So the answer for this question is option C. I hope it is clear. Or agar aapne option number C pe tick kiya hai, to aap ek number or score kar loge. Now proceed to the next question. This question is from chapter real numbers, but the topic is fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Very simple and straightforward question. We have to represent this number as one of the given options. Let's solve this. Friends, you know that 225 is a perfect square number. This can be written as 15 square. 15 can be factorized as 3 and into 5 and we can write this is equal to 3 square multiplied by 5 square. And out of the given four options, option number C is the correct choice for this question. Answer is option number C. If you have marked option number C, then you can score again one mark for this question. I hope it is clear. Let's proceed to the next one. This question states the probability that a number selected at random from the numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on till 15. That means we have first 15 natural numbers is a multiple of 4. Multiple of 4 means 4, 8, 12 because we have to find the multiples till 15. Let's solve this question based on the concept of probability. So, First, we will be writing favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes are 4, 8 and 12 out of first 15 natural numbers. So the probability of the occurrence of this event is favorable outcome divided by the total possible outcome. So I can write here 3 divided by 15 and the answer for this question is 1 upon 5 and out of the given four options we can see that it is given in option number D. If you have marked this then you can score again one mark for this question. I hope it is clear to everyone. Let's proceed to question number 6.